Okay, folks, this is potentially a four-match episode. Four games left. Can we qualify for Europe? Let's see how we get on. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Going Pro with me, D-Boy Plays. As mentioned, we've got four games left in the league. AC Milan, Lecce, Bologna and Brescia. I think if we can win these games, we can qualify for at least Europa League. I'm going to say if we can win three out of four. I'm saying that because we've got AC Milan and AC Milan are an absolute nightmare and they've already won the league. But we've got to, yeah, we've got to try and push into European spots. If we can do that second time in the league, that would be pretty great. Um, as you can see since we last met, it's not been great. We 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 got one win and it was very laboured. Uh, so we really need the the lads to uh, to turn things around for us uh, going into this game against AC Milan. But like I say, potentially four matches. We'll basically we'll we'll either go until the end of the season where we 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 don't have the position. The second we're in there and we've qualified for Europe, or you know whatever happens first. So let's see how we get on. Let's dive in. First match, we have AC Milan. They've already won the league, so hopefully they play a bunch of their youth team, and it's a really, really easy game. I don't think they will, though. As you can see, looking at our team, we have switched to a 4-2-3-1 formation, um, and it's fine. We'll see how we do, really. Um, we've got that Norwegian thread through the middle of Palumbo, Holm, and Holm. Um, but no massive changes really, Salcedo's gone out onto the right, he's been awful recently Salcedo, but I don't have a better option, so he's playing there basically. Um, De La Morte's back in the team, playing left wing, see if he can help spark some creativity for the boys, um, but that's the only real sort of changes from the last last stream. AC Milan though, I, I, want, I want to be confident, but they have already won the league. And I imagine that they're going to be uh, tough. Um, <clears throat> Matty Ryan in goal. Pierre Kalulu, Gabia, Tamore, uh, Tonali, Daniel Maldini, Catalare, Leal, Delafe. Some really good players in that team. Really solid players in that team. But we've we've got a couple of good boys of our own. Um, when we played them earlier in the season, I believe at their place we drew. So that could suggest that we might do well here but you you never know you never know it's going to be tough whatever happens Gabby yep, just standing with the ball plays it over to Tamori um yeah I, I mean the, in my head there's like okay we're at the end of, end of season four it's been pretty good we're back in the back in the top league we're back in Serie A but we've got a Look to try and improve the team. Lay out getting a goal for AC Milan. I, I figured that would happen. We, you know, we're in our fourth season. We spent two years in Serie A. I reckon. I reckon the plan moving forward, if we can get Europe, that's that's great because that's a good, clear progression. But even if even if we do just finish top half, I mean, last season we finished tenth. Uh, so if we you know, match that or slightly improve it, that's a good thing. Um, but it would be nice to have something like that. I guess also as well, the target with the team should be try and win at least one thing <laughs> other than the Serie C. Um, so we've got Coppa Italia, obviously the Serie A, or whatever European competition we might end up in um, at some point. I say that like it's guaranteed. We might just be absolutely terrible from here on out and just never be able to improve because money in Serie A is um, non-existent. It'd be interesting to see if we do have a budget at the end of the season, if they turn around and say, yeah, here you go, here's 20 million, go improve the squad, or if they give us, you know, some spare change and uh, <laughs> expect us to feed off scraps. I can see it being the second option um, based on previous uh, transfer windows. Being 1-0 down there to AC Milan is not too bad. It's, pre it's pretty even out there. In fact, I'd even say because of possession, we look like we're in charge, but... They've just uh, they've just got just got that goal. Um, we have been in control. No one's really putting in a bad performance. 
we've just got to uh, just got to press on. Leal, tackle by Coley, good challenge. Diambo into Palumbo. De La Morte. Again, if we can get a draw here. I don't know, a draw is not the most exciting thing, but a draw against AC Milan would be incredible. That's the what we were looking for. Noah Jean Holm gets his goal. Equaliser in the first four minutes of the second half. Come on. I'll totally accept that. Like if, if we if, if the game ended there, I'd be I'd be so pleased. But they are, they're still like even though they've won the league though, they're still playing a pretty strong team. I wonder if they're still in any I wonder if they're in any other competitions, if they've you know they've stuck in the, the Champions League or any others. Uh, Salcedo can't quite get his cross in. Gabia clears. Tonali, but Diambo is there. Plays it into Palumbo. Down the line to Coley. Tries to turn his man. Plays Salcedo in. Crossed in. Has Noah Jim Hong got a second? I think he has. There's a timer that's just popped up down here, so that tells me. Thank you, weird glitch in the Zealand skin. We know it's a goal. We're 2-1 up. This really makes me question a few things about this team. We play X amount of games against teams that you'd expect us to be leading against. And I'm running before I walk. We could very much bottle this. But we're putting in a solid performance against the league leaders. But all the rubbish teams we struggle against. It's probably me. I'm probably doing something wrong. With that, though, you see that we have just crept up into seventh place above Atalanta. They do have a game in hand on us, though. So, again, means nothing. Excuse me. Means nothing. Ball played forward. Chaka. Gabby and now Benassa. Okay, AC Milan. Oh, well tackled. Noah, back to Palumbo. Plays it wide. Is Delamorte going to get on the end of it? No, he's not. Singo's there. He plays it back to Ryan. Gabby and now in the middle with Tonali. Good interception from Salcedo. Well worked from him. Plays it through the middle. Noah, Gene Holm. Is that a hat-trick against AC Milan? I don't think it is. I don't think that is. That's a shame. That would have been nice. That would have been nice, a hat-trick against AC Milan. Um, no, shame. Still, that's... I mean, look, that's like, all positive signs, right? All positive signs. Good interception again. AC Milan are slipping in confidence by the looks of things. Coley trying to move down the right, cuts it back to Mbeso. He plays it all the way back to Rizzo. Cometio now plays it wide. St. Luce. He's got acres of space to move into. That's it. Keep going. Cuts it back to home. Plays it in the middle. No, Eugene home. <sighs> Sends it just wide. Right, I think we've got to make a couple of changes because we're starting to see a few tired legs out there. Uh, Delamorte, do you have an appropriate sub? You do. Noel Lopez, the loney. By the way, he's been just trash. He's been absolutely rubbish. And again, maybe I'm not using him properly, but it's not been uh, it's not been fun to see. <laughs> You're like, oh, perfect, we found the right guy, and then he's done nothing, uh, which is which is just infuriating, really. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to make a third change. We're going to take Mbeso off for Kreshki. and let's just see if we can play out the last few minutes of this game. Last few moments. I don't like get it. if we get another goal. I don't think that helps us. I don't think it helps us any more than uh, the position we're in. I do wonder who Atalanta have. So I can see that Roma and Juventus both have games in hand. Hopefully it's against one of them. And uh, they help help us keep our place. Which would be really good. Good header to Noah. Noel Lopez now on that left hand side. Plays it into home. Lovely little cut back. Back to St. Louis. Down the line to Noel. Good control. Tackled by Singo. Poor touch from him. Trasoldi. Tackled by Salcedo. Come on, boys. Let's try and get something from this. Diambo down the line to Salcedo. Cut it back. <sighs> Noah's on the deflection. Noah Jean Holm getting a hat trick against AC Milan. Nice. Confident win. La the last episode, I was very miserable. It, you could probably tell last episode, yeah, I was. I was. I was not in a good mood with how things were going with this save. If the rest of this episode is kind of like this, I'll, I'll be happy. But I'm, when I say kind of like this, I mean winning games. It would be very, very nice. Holm. Losing the ball there. Kreshki now. Ladislav. Uh, into Busquets. 
Just moving it around tidily. Very nice. Played wide to St. Luce. We're very good at sort of playing attack down this left-hand side. Oh, well read, boys. Noah Jean Holm, four goals. That's... That's ridiculous. Who's got the most goals for us? Was it Comey? I think Comey scored five against someone for us uh, in our first season, um, which was awesome. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, if you fancy trying to get a fifth to match that Noah just before the end, that'd be very nice. But this is awesome. 4-1 up against AC Milan. My word. Tamori. Tonali and Raquel May moving it around. De Catalare down the line to Rafael Leao. Coley, good work from him. Wins the ball back. Noel Lopez plays in Noah Jean home. Don't you dare. <sighs> I thought he was going to get his fifth then. What a really nice win. What a nice way to start things. And you finally got to see us score more than one goal. Because you're constantly watching us put in those just tumultuous 1-0 wins. Which go on forever, and I, I appreciate, are probably a bit boring. Um, but, nice. You saw us put four goals past AC Milan. Very nice. And I think we're just fizzling down the clock. There it is. What a win. What a start. Amazing game out there. Well played, boys. Really solid work. And that does see us jump up to seventh. Like I say, uh, Atalanta do have a game in hand. The games that there's, a, there's a, to be fair, there's a few teams that have got games in hand. The ones I could notice though were Juventus and Roma. Hopefully, one of those two can be playing them and help us out. Uh, yeah, we're moving into the Conference League reckoning. I'd, I'd be gassed to get Conference League. I really would. I'd be very, very excited with that. Right, I'm going to fast forward a little bit. And we are going to get into our next game, which is against Lecce. Okay, here we are back for the match against Lecce. They are sitting at the bottom of the table, holding the rest of us up. Atalanta did draw their game that they had, so they have crept above us. Again, obviously, if we get a win, it sort of puts, helps put us a little bit ahead, puts a little bit of pressure on them. Empoli and Atalanta, I've just looked at their uh, their schedules. They've, they've got a relatively easy run, uh, so it might be close, this one. Um, but we'll see how we do. All we can do is see how we do. Um, we will go balanced. Well, sorry, go positive for this game. I'm not going to hit early crosses because that's crazy. Um, a couple of changes. We've brought Dina Rabimbe in. We've got Kreshki in the middle. And we've brought Butera in because he's desperate for some fitness. Desperate for some sharpness. Um, and I feel like this is the right game to do it in. If we were to do it in any... I know it's the end of the season. Probably not worth worrying about match sharpness. But he is a good player and he's one of our prospects. So I do want to give him... Uh, some time because he's going to be one of the ones that I imagine we're going to try and keep for a while uh, hopefully be here for the rest of the save and we'll actually develop into a very good player for us here we go though we've got Lecce in the league like I say they are bottom and this should be a confident win you feel like this is a game we should really be winning um, but it's football manager you know it doesn't always work the way you want it to we are at their ground as well so they could they could cause us some problems. Um, not a lot of people in though. Bit dead this game. Bit empty. Never mind. And looking at the stats, I mean they already look a little bit in charge. So to Krejci, back to So, Coley, tackled by Nemecha. Can we get to him before he gets a cross in? Apparently not. Ooh, sent over by Hulmand. I'm fine with that. We haven't had a single shot yet, and it is 15 minutes in. Um, I might up our tempo a little bit. I might even, to be honest, I might even go back to positive, uh, back to balance, you know, because they are looking stronger than us right now. There we go. We've had a shot. Come on, Sport Yellow. Big goal kick. Launches it forward. Butera heads it into the middle. Well won back. Noah, he's tackled. Can he win it back? No, he can't. Villa Libre plays it in, but Dina Abimbe tracks back and does his defensive duties. Great work there. Butera now on the ball. Over to Mbeso. Forward to Krejci. Palumbo. Dilly dallying on the ball. Poor shot from Villa Libre there. Definitely could have taken them up. Lecce on the corner. Good catch from Rizzo. Well done, mate. Quick, 
quickly. <laughs> Don't dawdle. There you go. Huge launch forward. Is anyone going to be there? Lovely touch from Leverbe. And Hien plays it into Hurmand. Gendry to Hien. They're just moving the ball very nicely around us. Well done. Is Noah going to get there? He does, but he heads it straight to the feet of Leverbe. Good tackle. Well worked. Okay, Palumbo. Poor pass from him again, and Gendry starts the massive counter attack. Feel free to tackle them if you want. Villa Libre scores. I don't know if that's offside. I think it may be because it hasn't popped up here as a goal. This hasn't been the best start, lads. They are bottom of the table. Feel free to, you know, act like they aren't. And let them just completely be in charge. It's ridiculous. They are absolutely dominating this game. This has not been good enough. Um, we haven't taken enough shots and I'm disappointed by that. That's, that's how I'm going to approach this one. The only one playing badly is Noah. Which is, I mean, last game, to be fair, he, he scored the amount of goals he's usually scoring four games. So he's done all his work. He's done everything he needs to, to be honest. Ball play forward for Villa Libre. No foul. Good catch, Rizzo. He almost looked like he crossed the line then, but we're fine. Okay. Right. I'm, I'm going to... I'm going crazy. I'm, I'm going attacking because this is ridiculous. Uh, and we're going to up the tempo even more. Um... And I'm going to shout at them, demand more. Because they're not doing it enough here. Quite a few bookings in there. Coley looks like he should probably come off, as should Noah. I am going to take them both off. Uh, sure, we'll bring on Salcedo. He's not exactly the best option. Uh, anyone that you'd be happy to swap for? I guess Dina or Bimbe, but then who's going to be my right winger? Hang on, has it swapped them? I don't think it has. Who's going to be my right wing? Uh, Noel. Noel Lopez can go right wing. There you go. A little bit of a change for you, mate. You can go out on the right. Uh, and I think Batera has done everything he can. We'll bring on Kometia. Right, try and score a winning goal. This is not a game where we should be dropping points. We'll ignore those. Right, Rizzo to Kumieto. Kumitio even. Cumieto, keep calling them the wrong names. Salcedo to Della Morte, back to Cumitio. Got it right that time. Excellent ball down the line. Find St. Just. St. Just, St. Luce. Who's St. Just? What a goal from Della Morte. Why did I say St. Just? Is there a player called St. Just? Am I going? I'm going senile. It's already started. Lovely teamwork, though. The left hand side really, uh, really helping us out here. St. Luce. Getting all the names wrong. <coughs> Into Della Morte, scores a goal. Good. That's what, he wanted. That's what we wanted. And again, is this going to be one of our classic one nilers? You got a game full of goals. Now we're back to usual scheduling. You know, getting boring one nil wins. Good tackle from home. Are we going to make it two here? Cuts it back to Noel Lopez. Plays it back to Kreshke. Into home. He might have been offside then. I think he was off. Yeah. Yeah, he's off. Fine. I, like, again, if we if we could just hang on to the one 0 win, going attacking was a good idea because it's clearly made them all step up a little bit in work rate and trying harder. <clears throat> oh, that's that is a tight call though. To be fair, I thought it was offside just because he looked offside, but that was a very very tight call. We've jumped up to fifth, so we need to sit. I mean, if Lazio and Inter Milan fancy absolutely bottling their next games, that would be great. If they're playing each other, that would come in very handy. Noel plays Holm in. God, that's quite hard to say. Play forward to Salcedo. The worst miss I think I've seen from any striker on this game. In time. <laughs> that was a terrible miss. A 1-0. Who'd have thought? One of our classic 1-0s. They had much more XG than us. We had one shot on target and it went in. That was, that was laboured, but we take it. And the result of that... Like I say, it does take us up to fifth. Whether we're still hanging on to that. Oh, we just relegated Lecce. Sorry, boys. Provocelli have secured what will be their best finishing position in Serie A with two matches still to play. Not true. We've won it in the past, but sure, let's ignore that. Um, okay, cool. Good. Well, we can't go lower than 10th, so that's nice. We don't have... Oh, we don't have St. Luce for the next game against Boulogne. Fine. I'm going to let these boys rest. I'm just going to fast forward a little bit because I want to see 
how things go in the league with other games. Uh, who are we concerned with? Okay, Inter Milan have got AC. You're probably, you're probably back in Milan. You'll be back in Milan to win it. Which one? AC. Uh, Napoli, Empoli. If Empoli want to do us a favour, that would be really helpful. Uh, Fiorentina, Sampdoria, probably them. Really, isn't it? Lazio, Torino. Torino, if there's ever been a time for you to absolutely pull your fingers out, right now is that time. I just want to see what the outcome of those games are before we worry about our next fixture against Boulogne. This this one, I'm to be fair, I'm more concerned with. Let's just see what Lazio Torino is like. Together. Let's see what the score is. Probably going to be Lazio. Nervous. Uh, oh, the Bimbo wants a new contract. Simple as that. He likes me enough to not, oh, to not, you know, not to be annoying and just go, okay, fair enough, boss. Very helpful. Very helpful result. Okay, so even if Inter win, we're still in that top half, I think. Actually, to be fair, what's going to happen with Atalanta? I'm going to continue it a little bit for them. We'll get back for the game against Boulogne, who are in 15th at the moment. So hopefully, again, another easy win. Okay, two games left. We've got Bologna first. And as things currently stand, there is no way that any of us can... Any of us fighting for Europa League, which is ourselves, Atalanta, Lazio, probably Inter, and maybe Empoli as well. Uh, no, not even Empoli. So it's literally Atalanta, ourselves, Lazio, and Inter, all fighting for those Europa League spots. None of us can get Champions League football. The top, the top four is decided. Uh, Juventus are guaranteed second. AC Milan already won the league. Uh, Napoli and Fiorentina fighting it out for third and fourth. Not that it really makes any difference, I imagine, because they're both getting Champions League football. Um, so again, the, the ones that matter, we would need to keep an eye on Inter's results, Atalanta's results, and Lazio's. And luckily, today at the same... Well, a little bit later on today, uh, Inter play Fiorentina and Atalanta play Roma. So it'll be interesting to see how those go. We've got Bologna, though. I feel like we could be okay. I feel like we could be all right here. Um... We have had a couple of little knocks. Uh, Rizzo just had a, a... I think he had a bruise. Uh, you've got a damaged elbow, which is annoying because I don't know how you can't play football with a damaged elbow. But sure, we're going to have to play Salcedo in that cam position, which I don't know how I feel about. Um, but other than that, no massive changes. Busquets has come in. Oh, Ruiz had to come in because St. Luis uh, has a suspension for this game for picking up too many bookings. Classic. Uh, and that's what we're working with. That is what we're working with as our team for today. Oh, this one's this one I feel is more important than than the last one because if we can if we can get set off a good start in this one, get a win here with with two of the teams playing later as well. We've basically we it, it obvious, but we've got to we've got to try and match or beat whatever those boys do. They're on really bad form as well, so let's try and let's try and dive into that. They've got Van der Beek. They got Donny van der Beek in centre mid. Just noticed that. Don't know how I feel about that. Maybe a little bit overrated. We have won our last three though, and they've lost their last three. So hopefully, like I say, you look at that table. If we're lucky today, if we can get a win, we could creep up to fifth, and that might guarantee us Europa League football, you know, or at least you know uh, Conference League football, uh, which would be interesting because I've not played in the Conference League yet. Um, I have played I played in the Champions League with uh, Rochdale over on Twitch. Uh, I haven't done the Europa League either. Um, but Conference League completely as an idea I've never I've never done before. I imagine it's very similar to every other European competition, but it's it's interesting to interesting to be part of. Uh check a bit of encouragement. We're looking okay. Not great, not getting enough shots away. Rizzo with a goal kick, plays it to Cometio into Palumbo. Over to So. He's on another booking, as is Coley. Coley's probably going to be suspended for that last game then. Uh, possibly. I don't know, really. I think Coley is going to be leaving at the end of the season. He's not been he's not been bad, but he's not been great. Good tracking back from Dina Abimbe. Palumbo now to Della Morte. Wide to Rui. He's been forced into the starting lineup through suspensions. But do you know what? I do think, despite looking poor when you look at his ratings, he's actually not a bad player. No, Eugene Holm! Finishes it. Is he onside? It's popped up in the bottom corner. That is onside. Lovely worked goal. Come on, boys. 
keep this momentum going. Keep this up. We've had we've had some we got a really good win against AC Milan. Wasn't expected. Beating Lecce, very laboured. This one, can we go in a little bit more confidently? And with I mean, if we do pick up a win, I do feel like we've we're guaranteed European football. I'm not gonna skip the offside. Oh fine, it, it's finished. I do feel like we could guarantee ourselves some European football here. It would have been a bit laboured because we had some really bad runs. Some really bad parts of the season where we just couldn't get any points. Um, so either, you know, an incredible comeback or completely undeserved. I'll let you guys decide in the, in the comments below. Um, <clears throat> Coley with the throw in though. Gives it to Salcedo. Palumbo forward to Busquets. Back to Palumbo. He plays it wide. Is Delamorte going to get onto it? Yes, he is. Delamorte's been a funny one because obviously he was amazing for us in Serie C and Serie B. Highsag with a horror tackle and getting himself sent off. That's going to make this game a little bit easier. We've not really used him much this season. He's been kind of forced back into the lineup just because we've changed formation. Um, yeah, we've not we've not really featured him enough, which is which is totally on me because I've I've been playing a formation that doesn't accommodate him, um, which you know might be a bit harsh. Uh, I think here I have to do this. I have to make that little change. We'll bring on Noel Lopez. Come on, make yourself make yourself useful, son. And Peritore, what's what are you looking like? Awful. Just awful. Good determination, but just awful. Because Rui's not having a great game either. I might give Rui a little bit more of a run out, and I think I'm not gonna worry about uh, I was gonna say I'm not gonna worry about it, but I am gonna worry about it. I'm gonna bring on we'll bring on Camiliano, sure. Why not? Give Camiliano a run around. There's quite a few players, actually, that we're probably going to be releasing at the end of the season. Um, Rui on the corner, crosses it in. Finds the head of Noah Jean Holm. That's our second. Six goals. Is that six goals in three games for him? Who scored in the last match? That's really bad, isn't it? It's literally just happened, and I can't remember. Um, well, it's at least six goals. Did he score in the last match? Wow, I can't believe I can't even remember that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We, we lead 2-0. They have got a man down, so that is definitely helping us out. Uh, we're starting to look a little bit more dominant. And yeah, there you go. Good job we left Rui on because his rating has gone up. I'm going to make a couple more changes just before we finish things off. I'm going to take off Palumbo for Diambo. And uh, we will take off Cometio for Batera. Because again, I'm a little bit conscious of that yellow card. We do love getting bookings in this team. That is uh, that is something that needs addressing as well. Rui forward to Salcedo. Good touch from him. Back to Diambo. Linking up. Very nice. Can you win it back? Yes, he can. Plays it to Delamorte. Into Noah Jean Holm. He may have been offside then. I think he may have crept offside. No, he hasn't. It's just come up on the bottom corner. Hat-trick again. Wow. So he, so he just turns it on against certain teams. But can't do it every week. Fine, I am going to skip that highlight. Got a hat-trick, though. Really good work from him. Really, really nice. And definitely them going a man down has helped us out. That's a confident win, though. That's really nice to see. 3-0 against Bologna. What, a, what an end to the series. If we... if I mean, if we win the last game, that's even, that's even better. What a, what, a, what a way to finish things. I, f I feel like that has guaranteed us European football. Surely that's guaranteed us European football. Home set for goal bonus. He's one goal away from 20 games. Holm, you were a fantastic. That was Delamorte got the goal in the last game. At least I'm not going insane. Well, not that much more insane. One game left to go, though. We will play Batera in this last one because, again, we've got another suspension. I love getting bookings. Uh, we will play St. Louis in this next game. Um, will you be back in time at home? Five to 11 days. Arguably you will. You've just got a damaged elbow. You don't need your elbow to play football. Well, some football players don't. Some love using their elbows. Um, again, I'm just going to continue ahead and we're going to get to this Brescia game. Um, I do actually, actually know. We're going to see how the results go for the other two teams first. Okay, Fiorentina win... That's helpful. Lazio still have a game in hand, so they could move us down. 
Atalanta did win, but Inter lost, which is huge. So Inter Milan, uh, they could still depends how Lazio's game goes. Anyway, let's get to this. Uh, let's get to this Brescia game. Brescia sitting in fourteenth at the moment. We've got to win this game. Here we are, last game of the season. Could possibly guarantee ourselves some European, European football here. Lazio have already got a slot in the uh, Europa League, I believe. If we have a look over here, they've already qualified. And I believe that is because they won the Coppa Italia. Yes, they did. They beat AC Milan in the final. So I wonder if this is, I wonder if we just now have European football. Anyway, but uh, we'll, we shall see. Um, Lazio do play Sassuolo. Uh, probably an easy win for them. Atalanta have got Sampdoria. They've already been relegated. Easy win for them. Inter can't get back into the race. We just have to win. We just have to win, yes. Uh, if, if they do, if we win, then that will see us qualify for the Europa League proper. Which is nice to see. Uh, they're suggesting swap these rounds. We've had a couple of annoying injuries. It looks like Holmes not going to be ready for it, although he probably could come on in the second half or something like that if we're struggling. Cometio's uh, out with suspension. Butera's picked up an injury, so we're playing Busquets uh, with Mbeso at the back. Just do your best, boys. Just do your best. That's all I can ask. It's Brescia. We should be able to win this. And we're at home. We've got home advantage. You feel like that should help us. Um, it should help us. Um, yeah, come on, lads. We're, we've got a chance to be in the Europa League. You should definitely take it. Should definitely, definitely try and take it. Um, all right, come on. Are we going to see anything? We're, we're maintaining possession, but they have had a shot. We haven't yet. Pretty boring so far. Uh, we do have to keep an eye. Okay, Lazio. Oh, it looks like Lazio are winning. Atalanta are winning their game. Lazio have gone above us in the league. Not quite sure why. Sistana with the ball back. Plays it to Andrianacci. Intercepted by Kreshki, though. Uh, Dina Rabimbe into Palumbo. Forward to Dina Rabimbe in the box. And Fulon gets a tackle in, and we have a corner now. Who's standing over our corner? It is Palumbo. Crosses it in. Can he find the head of anyone? No, he can't. Cleared. Salcedo chases onto it. Back to St. Luce. And a highlight. Okay, we're back up to sixth. I don't know what's happening in that game. St. Luce throws it to Salcedo. Into Della Morte. Forward to home. Lovely little passing. Salce oh, no one was brought down to the box, but it's not a penalty. Cleared by Andrianacci. All the way to Mbeso. Poor header from him, but now Coley has the ball. Dina Rubimbe. Kreshki plays it forward to Salcedo. Crosses it in. Noah Jean Holm. Nudge wide by Andrinacci. Andrinacci. I've really got to work on improving my name pronunciation in this save. Della Morte crosses it in. Can't find the head of anyone. Salcedo picks it up. Can he get a cross in? Finds Kreshki. He's forced all the way back. There we go. End of highlight. Okay, we're moving the ball around, which is nice. Della Morte to Busquets. Palumbo finds Della Morte over the top. Finds Noah Jean Holm. What a save again. This keeper's a nightmare. Any chance, lads? <laughs> Kick it where he isn't. Palumbo crosses it in. Cleared once again. Busquets on the ball. Forced back to St. Louis. That might be the highlight. There we go. Dina Rabimbe. Oh, an absolute horror challenge there from Foulon. Yeah, we can see that coming. Straight red card. Okay, this has surely got to be the turning point that helps us out. Palumbo crosses it in. Cleared. Della Morte's on it, though. Finds Palumbo. Back to Mbeso. Forced over to St. Louis. There's a bit of space that side. Feel free to use it. There you go. He's going to cut it back. Plays it into Della Morte. Back out to Palumbo. St. Louis crosses it in. Dina Rabimbe heads it over. Well worked, though. Well worked. Right, come on. They are, they're down to 10. This should be easy now. This should be easy now. Yeah, the media have been kind to you recently. Let's go for that one. Can we get anything? Come on, boys. It looks like Atala and Tata are losing. Okay, so we might be okay. They're very behind Sampdoria. Al Skildson, Al Skildson and Isaac Success really helping us out. Okay, we're looking really dominant here. 
I'm going to go to attacking. That could be a terrible decision. And I am going to make some subs. I'm going to take off. Who am I going to take off? <sighs> Let's take off Busquets for Macchione. Sure. And we're going to bring on Diambo for Palumbo. Uh, he's having a good game. I'm going to take off Kreshke. Right, come on, boys. Get out there and make a difference. Can we push on? Can we get a last-minute winner here? We're going to do exactly the same thing as well. We're just going to up our tempo just a hair. Can we get anything from this? Come on, boys. Noah Jean Holm is playing absolutely terribly out there. This is well, this is the game we need him to turn it on. A Lats How are Lazio getting on? Still nil-nil in Lazio's game. Why do they keep creeping above us, though? Strange. Nothing's happening in that game. Because I know it's possibly on head-to-head, -head, but if nothing's happening... Uh, Tiago Holm, you're coming on. Sorry, mate, I know you're a bit tired. Noah Jean, you're going to come off for Lopez as well. He does look nervous, but try and score a winning goal. Now he's happy. There you go. He's gone from nervous to happy. Might demand more just for the last little bit of the game. We are at home. Can we pick up a win here? Last few minutes. Here we go. Coley plays it wide to St. Luce. He plays it to Delamorte. Back to St. Luce. He crosses it in. Can he find home? No, he can't. It's cleared out to Delamorte. Cross back in. Noel Lopez can't find it. Diambo on the volley. Down and Thiago home scores for us. That's guaranteed us Europa League football. Come on. In the 92nd minute. Super sub. He's injured. We bring him on though. He's only got a damaged elbow. He'll be fine. That was a wonder strike from Diambo there. Good block. Home in the right place, right time. Gets that last minute winner for us. Does that put us... That puts us up to fifth. Wow. What an ending. We finished the season in fifth. That is absolutely nuts. No, Gene Home had a rubbish game. But I, I'm not unhappy with that. We finished the season fifth. We've guaranteed ourselves some Europa League football. That's so exciting. Within four seasons, we've got Europa League football. That's mad. That's absolutely mad. Qualified for the Europa League. There we go. Qualified for the 2026 Europa League by securing a top five finish in Serie A. We're a surprise package. Understandable. Completely understandable. Uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting us to do well. Fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to end things there. And we'll do a little episode where we look at our season review, we talk about the team, maybe we try and plan some transfers, see if we can find any good players to bring in. And yeah, we we, we worry about our, <laughs> our fifth season. Can't believe we're in Europa League, it's absolutely fantastic. But yeah, next episode we'll do the season review and we will look ahead to what we're going to do next season. Thank you very much for watching though, I hope you've enjoyed that episode. What a ride, finally qualifying for some Europa football. Crazy work from the boys. Very, very proud of them. If you have enjoyed the episode, please make sure you give it a like. And if you would like to continue this amazing journey that we're having with Provocelli, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. That's it from me now. Look after yourselves. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, Bella.